a custodian and father of two. A mother with wedding plans. A happy-go-lucky guy. A 16-year-old helping his family. Thadako's how friends and family described some of the six people killed at a Walmart in Chesapeake, Virginia, when a manager opened fire with a handgun right before an employee meeting. Five adults have been identified, while authorities have not released the name of the sixth person killed, a 16-year-old boy. Family and friends dressed in white remembered the teen at a vigil in the Walmart parking lot on Thursday night. His friends told the Virginian pilot that it was hard to believe that he was gone. Family friend Rosie Perez told the New York Times that the teen attended a local high school while working the overnight job to assist his family. O.C. Pound he wanted to help a little bit Perez said. O.C. Pound he was a very good child. Here are some details about those who were lost, Okukuko Kelly Pyle, 52, of Chesapeake Pyle was remembered as a generous and kind person, a mother who had wedding plans in the near future. O.C. Pound we love her said Gwendolyn Bo Baker Spencer. O.C. Pound she was going to marry my son next year. She was an awesome, kind individual Oko okay, yes she was. Pyle had adult children in Kentucky who will be traveling to Virginia in the wake of the tragedy, Spencer said. Pyle moved back to her native Norfolk in May after reconnecting with her high school sweetheart and got a job at the Walmart recently, her cousin Billy Pillar Gibson told the Washington Post. He remembered Pyle's sarcastic sense of humor and called her his best friend. O.C. Pound we grew up in a crazy family, and we understood each other he said. O.C. Pound I don't caught remember life without her. Okukuko Brian Pendleton, 38, of Chesapeake Pendleton made sure to be punctual. Although his shift as a custodian started at 10.30 p.m., he was in the break room when the shooting started just after 10, according to his mother. Michelle Johnson. O.C. Pound he always came to work early so he would be on time for work she told the Associated Press Wednesday. O.C. Pound he liked his co-workers. Pendleton had recently celebrated his 10-year anniversary working at the store. His mother said he did no cot have any problems at work, except with a supervisor, Andre Bing, who was identified as the gunman. O.C. Pound he just did no cot like my son Johnson said. O.C. Pound he would tell me that he, Bing, would give him a hard time. Pendleton was born with a congenital brain disorder and grew up in Chesapeake, his mother said. O.C. Pound he called me yesterday before he was going to work Johnson said. O.C. Pound I always tell him to call me when gets off work. As she was getting ready for bed, Johnson got a call from a family friend telling her there was a shooting at the Walmart. O.C. Pound Brian was a happy-go-lucky guy. Brian loved family. Brian loved friends. He loved to tell jokes his mother said. O.C. Pound Weckery going to miss him. Okukuko Lorenzo Gamble, 43, of Chesapeake Gamble was a custodian on the overnight shift and had worked at Walmart for 15 years, the Washington Post reported. His parents Linda and Alonzo Gamble said he loved spending time with his two sons. O.C. Pound he just kept to himself and did his job Linda Gamble said. O.C. Pound he was the quiet one of the family. His mother said Gamble enjoyed going to his one nine-year-old Daco's football games and cheering for the Washington Commander's NFL team. She posted on Facebook that she Oko's having trouble saying goodbye. O.C. Pound missing my baby right now, life is not same without my son she wrote. Okukuko Randy Blevins, 70 of Chesapeake Blevins was a Norfolk Admirals hockey fan and enjoyed photography and collecting coins, daughter Cassandra Yates told the New York Times. O.C. Pound he never missed a single day of work she said. O.C. Pound he loved his family and supported everyone. Blevins was a longtime member of the Storio Co's team that set prices and arranged merchandise. Former co-worker Shindre Uris who said she worked at the store from around 2015 to 2018, spoke fondly of Blevins as O.C. Pound M.R. Randy. She said the overnight crew at the store was O.C. Pound A family and that employees relied on one another. Okuko Tinika Johnson, 22, of Portsmouth Theodore Johnson, 41, told the New York Times that his cousin lived with her mother. O.C. Pound she was young and wanted to make her own money he said. 
When Johnson attended Western Branch High School, Kasha Buchanan tutored the student with dreams of college and a supportive family, Cannon told the Washington Post. O.C. Pound education was in the forefront. Her family did whatever they had to do to make sure she got assistance Cannon said. Johnson was willing to work to better herself, but she was also cheerful, helped younger students and O.C. Pound gelled with everyone she encountered at Cannon O'Co's blessed tutoring services, she said. Johnson had a sense of style and love for music and dancing. O.C. Pound she was that kid. When she came to tutoring, she was very well put together Cannon said. O.C. Pound Dinica was a light in a dim room. A makeshift memorial to Johnson was placed in a grassy area outside the Walmart, with the words O.C. Pound Our Hearts Are With You and a basket of flowers. The remembrance included a cluster of blue, white and gold balloons tied to a tree, alongside a stark yellow line of police tape. Okukuko Associated Press News researchers Rhonda Schaffner and Randy Hershaft in New York contributed to this report. Kelleher contributed to this report from Honolulu.